Hello, angels and demons. Today, oh, actually, sorry about the spam tutorials, but I'm, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. It's just a, t sorry about that. Uh, this tutorial it explains the basics of PMX editor and how to download it. This is not a tutorial on how to make a model, but it's the basics. I'll make a tutorial on how I make models later. So, before we start, please do keep in mind that you need a Windows PC. Yeah, a Windows PC. Because I'm not sure if it'll work on Mac or Android, but all I know is that you need a Windows PC. And let's begin. So, you can either download this PMX version of PMX Editor or this one. It is highly recommended to download this one now because it is fully translated to English. And, like, yeah. It's also the latest version of PMX Editor, which is better. Make sure that your PC follows the system requirements or else it will not open. To download it, click on, like, any of the links here. Uh, and for here, open here. It'll just lead to a Mediafire one, but apparently some people can't access it, and I can't fix that. And for here, this has, like, it's on Mediafire, it's on Box, Mega. Click on any one of them and download it. I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it. And you should also unblock the file before extracting it. It's an issue for all versions of Windows. I, I can't tell you on how to unblock. I tried doing that before, but for some reason I can't find it. So, because, like, probably because of Windows updating. And yeah, once you download it, open it. Oh wait, no, this is MD, I forgot. Open it, PMX editor. Let's see how long this is running for. I'm gonna try to make this like as short as possible. Because the last time I did it, it was like one hour long. I don't want that. So here's the basic interface of PMX editor. Now, before I start, let me like load out, load a MD, like model part. So I'm gonna stop this recording and continue it. All right, as you can see, I loaded the dress. This dress here is made by the Rainbow Llama on DeviantArt. So, to make a new file, press new. To open a file, Click on the PMD or PMX editor or X file and open it. The info here, this is the name of the model, it'll appear in MD, and the comment is the pop-up you'll be getting for uh, when you open it. Like the, the pop-up you'll be getting when you load it in MD. There's also a Japanese version but we can move on from that because I don't speak Japanese. The vertex, I, you could say pretty much um, manipulates the vertex vertices of the 3D model. The faces uh, manipulate with the faces. I, um, an MD, Model editor would re not really use these. They'll either use like these ones here. I'm not sure about 
soft body. And then you have material. This is one of the windows you'll be using a lot when it comes to MD editing. So on here, you can change the color of the material. You can change the opaque, like the transparency, the reflection. I don't know about this stuff. You can change the, if the outlines, you can like hide the outlines or make them show. Really, it depends on you. This is the texture, the spas or spiff or tunes. In a memo, like let's say, dress created by, uh, I'm just gonna do this because I'm not the one who created it. I don't want to do plagiarism. It's not a dress I created. Not my main because I don't know how to model. I tried doing it, but it did not work out for me. So, yeah. For this, you can move something down. Oh, wait. I forgot. This is a basics. The bone tab manipulates the bones. You see these blue um, circles and uh, what you call it? This shape? Those are the bones. They're responsible for moving the model around and also physics. Morphs, manipulate the morphs, but in like blinking, for example, but since it's the dress, it does not have any morphs. The display panel. The display panel is like responsible for like, say if you like register something in like a bone, and it'll show. If it doesn't show, then like, then you need to do something on here. The rigid body is a very important part when it comes to physics. Allows you to ma manipulate with them. And yeah, the joints, same thing with the joints. Okay, now we're done with that. I don't know about soft body, but we'll move on. The options here allow you to select. This is vertices. I mean, click this. If you click this, it'll show the vertices of the model. If you, the default color for the vertices is green, unless you change it from the display settings. If you select them, it'll default. The default color will be orange. Now faces. If you select faces, oh, wait, faces? There are these red things, unless if you change it from the display settings. The bones, I already told you, the bones are the blue things. The rigged body is the colored stuff, like in this case this is green, this is yellow. Yeah. The joints are the yellow boxes. Yeah, the range here. This here allows you to, wait, no, wait. This here allows you to move one vertice, vertex. The, the box one is the default one and is, I recommend using this one. This selects it in a box kind of way. The lasso selection allows you to select it like based on making the lasso thing and as you can see a part of it is selected. The circle one allows you to select a group of vertices in a circle. To select more vertices, by the way, is to click shift. And to uh, select less vertices, click control. This works on all ranges, by the way. Like, if you see here, if you control, hold control. Oh, by the way, how I'm doing this is you have to hold the left button of your mouse. It is recommended to have a mouse when it comes to editing stuff. The face selection just selects the faces. The range selection. I have honestly no clue what this does. It selects vertices. This here is selection disabled. 
And here on the display settings, you can change the background color. Let's see, this color, and you see it changed. You can change the environment light color. Looks like this, but I recommend making it white. You can adjust the lighting direction. You can have additional displays, like you don't want to select the bones, or I can just click here. I don't want to select those. But here, this here is responsible for the perspective, that kind of way. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, I won't get into too much detail. You'll f probably find out on your own. Uh, I want to. I need to wait. Hang on, I have to reset this. Reset, please. Change it back to normal. The object management. It's basically a shortcut of doing this. Of like these, the stuff. Handle operation. The handle operation is. Uh, 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 oops. Uh, I have no clue what just popped up. I know Zoom. Uh, pretend you did not see that. Um, I'd have no clue why Zoom opened up. Anyways, let's move on. This. Wait, wait, wait. This is the window you'd be using a lot when it comes to MD editing. As you can see, you'll know when something's selected if they have a check mark. If it's deselected, they'll have they'll have no check mark. To make like the unselected parts still be visible, click on this and there. I recommend having it off. This like, this is reverse, and this is, I have no clue what the E stands for. Anyways, this is the object editor. It allows you to move stuff, wait, oh, I forgot to select it. Select all this, and this allows you to move, move it with it, move it. Or you can just use this. Either way, it's up to you, but I recommend doing it this way. If you do this, it'll be kind of laggy. If you know what I mean. Value, if you type in a specific number, let's say 30, it'll move that way. Okay, the red line is the X axis, the Y is um, the Y axis, and the Z, the blue one is the Z axis, just saying. So this X, Y, Z. You can also scale it. This, these buttons, like, just, you could, I have no clue. If you turn on mirror mode, it causes others, like if you select something specific, it'll also move along, but, like, let me select a joint. Like, let's say this part of joints. If you move it, this also moves on the opposite side. It's pretty cool. This is advanced editing. I don't really touch this, so I'm really not going to explain it. You can find another tutorial on these basics. This is the weight option, so if you have trouble, like, say, rigging, for example, this is your friend. This is the... I have no clue what this is, the selection guide. Please do, do not give constructive criticism. I am not a professional PMX editor, but I'm not also not a noob. This is the sub view. So, 
it's really helpful when it comes to moving like clothing on your base. So if you can see, it's also moving. And transform view, it's kind of like MMD, but in, but in PMX editor, except it's limited on stuff. Do that. Virtual, this is handle display. You see it's those little, this thing here. Now let's, in multi-view mode, allows you to see the, the model in various, like, various um, angles. The effect button, like, for example, I know v models have an effect when it comes on though. But in this case, this model doesn't really have this. So best to turn that off. Now let's move on to how to move it. The green arrow here moves on the Y axis, so it moves it up and down. The red arrow moves on the X axis, which moves it left and right. And the blue arrow moves on the Z axis, so it's back and forth. The, as for rotating, the red circle here rotates on the X axis, as you can see. The green circle rotates on the Y axis, so moves it like a ballerina. Let me show you. And the blue one moves it like a clock. The blue one like rotates on the Z axis, so it looks like this. It's kind of laggy, but whatever. Now for the boxes. The red box scales on the x-axis, so it makes it skinny or wide. The, the green box scales on the y-axis, so it moves it like taller, short, like flat. The Blue box scales on the Z axis, so I, I don't know what this is called. I can make it flat on here. And the little green diamond here, you can move it where, at, like, based on where your cursor's at. Yeah. So, oh, and here, this version here. Uh, just this stuff. So, I think that's it. Please do not give, like, give me criticism. I am not a professional of PMX editor. I'm just someone who knows. I'm just use someone that uses it as a hobby. I just hope you guys learned something, and this is the end of this. PMX Editor Basic Tutorial. Bye. Hi, it's Future Ocean Boy. The Ocean Boy that stopped recording that tutorial, I forgot to explain how to undo or redo. So you go to edit, like, like let me make it edit like here, like, say so let me move it back. You, to um, undo whatever you did, you can either control Z or go to edit, undo. Or, and if you want to redo that, either do control Y or redo. Same way with the shortcut. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to explain that. Oh, and also to reset the camera, if you cl right click on PMX view, like, couple times and it should reset to the default view. I'm really sorry guys. Forgot to explain how to do it. Bye.